Wonder Woman was a huge success because you gave us the Wonder Woman we would love to see on screen. Thank, Thank you for that. Thank you. But at the same time, it's a big responsibility yeah. for the next chapter. I would like you to talk about it, to talk these expectations and what mm -hmm. can we expect for the next level. You know, it's interesting. We've talked about this many times. The first one was unbelievable expectations because the assumption was that we would fail. And those of us that love Wonder Woman like myself and like Gal believed that there was something wonderful possible with the real Wonder Woman. Not a changed version of Wonder Woman, the real Wonder Woman, who is loving and kind and feminine and wonderful. We were under a tremendous amount of pressure to stay true to what we believed and make a movie that we believed could succeed. I feel like, yes, there's a new chapter of pressure. It immediately becomes, can you live up to it? Can you win a... It's a new chapter. Nothing could be harder than making a great movie about a great character that you love. I don't care if we do 10, it would never get easier because we're influencing people's lives and they see that and we could affect them. And that's, we're as hard on ourselves as we could possibly be to make it happen. The only thing we can do is to give it everything that we have and that's what we've done this entire yeah. time. And we feel so represented. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing that's to, so to great. see. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's All great. over the world. I, I, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's always, that, yeah. you never get tired hearing that. Your time will come, Diana. And everything will be different. Other than the physical powers, what do you think makes her so feministic hero? I think that it's solely because we are not used to see a female-driven story. Unfortunately, we keep on talking about how much we we just wait and wish to be in the day where we it's not an issue. It's a non-issue. We don't talk about representation. We don't talk about feminism. We don't talk, because it is all equal. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. There is a long way to go, and I am super thrilled that we're doing this movie, and this movie does help change the trend and also bring a very strong female perspective. And it has this amazing impact and ripple effect on girls, women, but also boys and men. You know, people ask me, so women empowerment, and you know, it's, a, it's the hot topic and all that. But I always say, you can't just empower the women without educating the men. It needs to work on both sides. So this movie is a universal movie yeah. for everyone, boys, girls, women and men. And I'm super happy to be... To be and now the movie's set on the 80s mm -hmm. and it's a fun period. I'm ready to go. I think we can do better. What was it like to jump into this uh, specific period and what does it change from the, the, the atmosphere specifically uh, in comparison to the first movie? Definitely the first movie, we were in a period of time that was very dark. You know, the, the middle of a world war with the biggest death count still to this day in history. I think there was tons of humor and we had a great time making it, but you had to be somber about w what the period of time they were in and what Diana was going to encounter in that story. This period, we get to deal with the total opposite. We're rolling around in excess and opulence and fun and, you know, humor and art. And so the story is still a, a serious story in its own way, but it was such a delight to get to set it in this period of time. And period of time plays in very she's much funny. to the plot. Wonder Woman, she's a funny woman. Yeah, yeah. she's very funny. Yeah. Yeah, very funny. So it was super great to do. Thank yeah. you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Yeah. It was a pleasure with you. Yeah. yeah. What did you do?